Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Thank you for watching How to Buy a Home. Okay, you're an escrow, and now the title company has the paperwork and the lender has the paperwork. There's a couple things that go on. The title company um, researches the title, and what they research the title for is to make sure there's no flaws in the title or any judgments on the title or anything that's on the title that um, is needs to be removed, say an assessment, and uh, say there's a sidewalk assessment. Well then, within that title work that you're provided, a prelim they call it, or um, owners and encumbrances, an ONE, it shows you how much is owed on the property, what is owed on the property, and any type of conditions on the property. If there is a sidewalk assessment, how much it is and how long it will be have to be paid for. And when some things like that come up, then you um, need to address that with the seller. Um, usually, and does things like that come up very often? No, not really, but they can, so you have to be aware. You just got to really look through your title to make sure that it is clear of any, any type of things that, that could muck up your title. Um, the title company, that's what title insurance is for, is to ensure that, hey, you're going to have free and clear title. But there's assessments that are addressed, you know, and, and if that's the case, you do want to talk to the tax assessor and say, hey, what is this assessment? What is this tax for this sidewalk or this tax for this you know, paved, paved uh, street that we have in front of the house that's been getting paid on. Is it possible to get that paid off right off the bat or, or whatever? I mean, there's these kind of things that, you know, that is on the title that will come up on the title work. And um, there's other things too. Like one time I had sold a 100-year-old house that they had exception 345. And the buyer calls up and says, Julie, what's exception 345? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Let's find out. So we call the title company. We call the, all title companies have attorneys. We talk to the attorneys. So what's exception three four five? They go, well, we have to dig into it. They dig into it a little bit further. Exception three four five was a uh, allotment that the city could put an alley in the backyard, <laughs> even though there was a garage, a fence, and a swing set on this in this backyard. And it's like what? You're kidding me. It was on three different properties, by the way, not just the one. And it was like, wow, well, that's really strange. Well, what happened was in order for it not to be exception anymore on the title work, meaning that the title company to ensure that exception, that I'm sure, you know, this has been hanging on for 100 years, it is what it is. It's not going to change. The town's not going to redevelop anything right there. Very obvious. So the title company did insure over it. The seller had to pay an additional $200 to actually have that removed off the title and then title company insurance saying, yeah, we are uh, uh, insuring over exception 345 and lo and behold, they had it removed off the title, whatever they had to do. Something, I don't know. I don't know what they had to do, but they did it. <laughs> so things like this happen. And so the title, you know, look through it, look through the paperwork and it's all good. It's all good. Uh, that's what's nice about having a real estate agent. They also look through your paperwork. They're, they're like your backup, your double eyes and double ears and they do this on a daily basis, so they know what to look for too. And your title people are great. They will answer any questions that you have. Just give them a call and they'll, they'll, they'll give you the answers. But bottom line, it's pretty simple. You're buying brick and mortar. It's no different than buying a car. You're buying a car, you're buying a house. You get title work. Title is free and clear off the car. No one else owes money on it. You're buying it from somebody. Great. It's free and clear. Same thing with a house. It's no different, just a little bit bigger product. So don't get scared. Just be wise and, and read, okay? Thanks for watching JuliaWaldorf.com, and have a great day. Ciao, ciao.